it today. Oh my God, wow. All right, good seeing you guys. This is the story of two sisters. Angela is my sister. Oh, Ethel's my sister. And the diner they grew up in. We get along really well, and we have for years. We might have fought over clothing when we were little, but now it's nice. I love working with my sister. We kind of complement each other. We have each other's back, and that's important. You can find sisters Angela Mitchell and Ethel De Pasquale and a whole lot of comfort food at the Agawam Diner. Situated in a vintage dining car, the Agawam Diner has been serving the locals of Rowley, Massachusetts since 1940. It's an institution. I've been coming here since I was little with my mom, and it has not changed, and that's what makes it great. Everybody knows Agawam Diner. And it seems like everyone knows Ethel and Angela, too. They have been here for as long as I've been here. They're just amazing. They've become my friends over the years. We actually have customers who come here three times a day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We have people come from Boston just to take a ride down and visit us at the diner. And that's really special. It's kind of an honor to have them here. And you'll feel special when you try some of the Agawam's food. Homemade food. Food that mom used to make. Food that people don't make at home anymore. Your meatloaves, your brown gravies, your chicken pie that no one really makes anymore. But they still make it all here. Along with desserts that are so good, you just may want to start your meal with them. We have the best desserts. Our pies are great, so if you're a pie person, this is the place to go. Here we have our co Coconut cream pie. This pie here is the banana cream, just plain old custard. Blueberry pie, cherry pie, and then here you have your chocolate cream, which is delicious. And while the pies are perfect, if you ask Angie, it's all about the chocolate roll. The chocolate rolls I have liked since I was, I don't know, since I was a kid. They're frosted in the middle, chocolate on top, and chocolate cake in between. And I just love them. I eat one a week. They're great. Of course, any great diner must serve a great breakfast, and the Agawam does not disappoint, with oversized omelets served with crispy home fries and stacks of fluffy pancakes. They're buttermilk pancakes, they're fluffy, they're just, they're simple pancakes, nothing fancy about them, very tasty. They just, they're really good, just buttery. It reminds me of when I was a kid growing up, my mom used to make pancakes all the time. But mom probably never made a house-made hash like this one. Hash and eggs we make here, we make it fresh basically every day because we sell out of it. There's some spices in there, a little bit of pepper. There's the corned beef. It's got some potatoes in there. It's good. It's really good. During lunch and dinner, you can feast on a hot turkey sandwich slathered in house-made gravy, overloaded seafood platters, golden fried and piled high, and an overflowing roll packed with clam strips. They just hang out of that clam strip roll. You can't even lift the clam strip roll. You gotta start eating the clam strips before you can get to the roll. It's a great flavor, I'm telling you. You get the sweet butter on the roll. I like it with tartar sauce. It's really good. And I know it's a diner, and I know people say, you have seafood? I go, try it. I guarantee you will love it. And they do. They're like, oh my god, this is great, we're coming back here. Other options include plate-tipping portions of American chop suey and mouth-watering meatloaf, way better than you remember. It's very, very moist. It's very savory. It's sweet with the peppers. So that ground gravy just really makes it. Some people come in and say, that, oh, this is not dry like my mom's meatloaf. I'm like, don't tell your mom that. And don't expect mom to make a chicken pie like the one at the Agawam either. Chicken pie is all white meat chicken. And the funny thing about our chicken pie, we don't keep it in the casserole dish. They started that a million years ago so that way it doesn't go out warm and anyone burns themselves. So they just decide that let's just flip it over and then serve it that way. So the crust is on the bottom and then we pour the gravy on top of it. It's really nice. You got the peas, you got the carrots and the nice piece of the chicken that goes in there. That's a very special dish. And the Agawam Diner is a very special place, which is why Angela, Ethel, and their customers call it home. I think it's a staple. I think if the Agawam Diner wasn't here, I think it'd be sad. It's just, just like family. I mean, it's just a family type place to come visit. It's a familiar place. It's been in the family forever, so they're kind of all familiar with us. A lot of people have seen us grown up. A lot of people move away and they just remember the Agawam. It's a special thing to see them come back.